Hey guys, and welcome to the first episode of Astroflux Theories. I'm Night Sky, and in Astroflux Theories, I want to talk about upcoming changes and guess what could happen, and speculate about anything that might or might not be there. And yes, in this episode, it's about Argon, the home fleet of the Nexus, or is it the headquarters of the Emperors? And I would say, let's get started, because this is going to be interesting. Now, Argon was pretty much added on the 10th of December, and a lot of you already suspect that there will be the Emperors, and I would already say this might be true. Why would the Emperors hide somewhere where they might potentially be in danger and getting assassinated by other lifeforms instead of having multiple infomans who send information about anything in the fleet to them? Admiral Circus is pretty much the closest to the Emperors and receives the information from everyone else coming from Vice Admiral Argus, Rear Admiral Vorgus and so on, pretty much like a realistic ranking system. This would certainly make sense, because Admiral Sirs is the only one who can drop face crystals, which are required to buy warp path to Argon. So that means that Admiral Sirs is the only one who has true access to the Nexar headquarters and being the highest informant to the Emperors. Now while this makes sense, there's also a forum post that might prove something else. So Tef pretty much said that this will be the final boss for Warshren. But if this was the final boss for Warshren, then... Why is there Argon and maybe is Argon a different system from what we think? Because this would actually also make sense because otherwise he wouldn't say that, right? Now if this is the case, what will the new species be and what enemies will we face? And will there possibly be a new level cap so we can level up further, maybe level 160 or level 175? Well, I don't know, because this series is called Ash the Flag Theories, so I don't know. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give me a comment and post constructive feedback of what I could do better. And again, thank you so much for watching and see you later.